here we go. Welcome back to my channel, Magic and Muscles. Anime review, episode number 14. We're here reviewing the 14th episode of the series, which is part of the Divine Visionary Exam Arc. <clears throat> I had to edit the Wikipedia's one because... They have incorrect information about this because they say it's from pages 4 through 6 up chapter 41. I, I, I reread 41. I'm like, nope. <laughs> that is a lie. It is actually from pages 6 through 21 up chapter 42, not 41. 41 was already down in the last episode. And it went through 43 and basically went through almost the entirety of chapter 44, with the exception of the opening page. Yes, so. We pick up last last episode where the headmaster shows up, which those who do not remember with the headmaster, he is based upon Dumbledore. Yep. And basically tells the Divine Visionaries to spare Masha's life. Otis is like, nope, I still want to kill him. Heck, even the guy in charge says, Yeah, let's uh, let's basically watch him let's uh, let's let's postpone the execution of his zeros in the move. So then we see order where he, he hires a brand new, he basically asked him from the Otis dorm. Yes. This is Marguerite. Okay. Marguerite, uh, what is the last name of this character? It is, um, it's not that one. Is a uh, Marguerite Macron, and for some strange reason, the creator identified this guy as non-binary. Despite the fact I can look at this person, it is clearly a guy. Yeah, he's got tattoos in his face of musical instruments, and he has lipstick. So what? I have had my issues. Because the non-binary term has popped up in the last few years. And I don't care for it. At all. If people want to come up that, fine. I don't care for it at all. Simply because... When I look at this guy, Marguerite... That is clearly a guy. Why well, like this person over here. Is that a non-binary person? No, I see a beautiful woman. I can't stand it at all. It is really stupid. But I'm not going to stop people basically from calling themselves that. Despite the fact it's really stupid. It's just as bad as calling yourself a furry. Yes, it's one of the dumb things introduced in the last few years that I don't really give a damn about. At all. It is so dumb. And the fact that some people think it's a good idea to identify themselves as non-binary. Saying you're not binary means you're not a human being. Okay? Moving on. I can go on day all, all day about the non-binary term. And I'll say this one more time. It's stupid. Moving on. So, he hires him to take out Mosh. He forms that he took out, well... A agent a, a, a innocent zero with no magic, and that gets attention. But he's eating shrimp while dipping in tartar sauce. When he hears this, he drops the shrimp on the table. So I was like, oh, I'll clean it up. And he proceeds to walk over to a baby grand piano. Yes, I know what this thing is because my dad identified it as a paper grand, would definitely identify it as a paper grand. It's a long black piano with a top open. This is what it's referred to as a baby grand piano. According to my dad, who actually has lived in these damn things, in an elevator back in the freaking 70s, these things are heavy. It requires two people to lift this thing, and he actually had lift this thing into an actual apartment, and the only way he could fit in the elevator was removing his legs. It's three legs. Yes, a baby grand piano is supported by actually about four legs. Yeah. And it, it can move around, yes, but it cannot fit. It had to basically, because New York elevators, from what I have been told, are very, very thin. And they're not, uh, in part buildings, they're not 
basically the only way to get this thing up, up let's say, uh, basically, you have to put a big guy panel in a cargo elevator to get things move up because if you put it in like a people elevator, it will not fit. None at all. You have to remove the legs, stand it up, and then carry it out. My dad also told my like grandpa hated lifting up, transporting glass tables. He despised glass tables. The reason? They're breakable. That's why. As a matter of fact, my family actually owns a glass table. We occasionally use it when we eat in our Florida room. So, moving on. So, and then we see later in the episode, we'll get back to that. So, after the whole thing is basically settled, basically he's supervised, and he figures, oh, why don't I go back home? He's like, tells the person, like, nah, I don't really need it. And then he tells everybody what happened, and he says, after gathering up all the coins, he can participate in the exam. He's like, I'll go home briefly. So, before he goes home, he and his friends go out basically on a town, which the town looks like Hogsmeade. Yes, believe it or not, I look at this place, it looks like Hogsmeade from, I believe it first popped up, I think it was in, um, I think in the movie's turn, I think it popped up in Prison of Azkaban. Yes, so, do they go to a bar? Nope. They go to like one store, which which I'll get to that, so... First, they would go to this place where they use this, this creature, where he tickle it, and he uses snot as darts. I'm like, what? So, Dot and Mosh basically just <laughs> have fun with it. Oh, by the way, also, when they all arrive, which is kind of weird, the four guys, Mosh, Lance, Dot, and Amos. Amos just as normal. Lance basically is normal until he reveals he has, he has a picture of his sister. His, uh cute sister on his shirt yes which uh he is the second character who's got a sister complex I've seen these fan based series the first of being the char- there's a character from Black Clover no uh, I was thinking Grey but Grey is gr- the girl who all has thing for him <laughs> I'll get back to that so Oh, by the way, his sister is actually taller than the one the one in Black Clover. Yep. So. And, of course, Mosh basically wears his work outfit. Which he wears in his work clothes anyways. And that comes with night. And then it comes the thing. And then, like, right after that, they run into Dot and the Captain. Which they go shopping. And they have a lot of fun. And... Then they go to a wand shop. Now, when I was thinking of the wand shop, I was thinking of Ollivanders. But no, this place is nothing like Ollivanders at all, which got to praise the fact that I have one thing with this series not ripped off from Harry Potter. Though the idea of having a wand shop, that it actually kind of reminds me of Ollivanders, except in Ollivanders, they actually have wands in boxes all over the place on shelves. Here, the wands are... Hanging by magic on the walls. And you just... What they do is they put their hand above this symbol on the floor. And they get magic wand. First, of course, Amos gets a chance to try out a new wand. Because apparently he's got more powerful recently. So, new wand. Lance. Like, ooh, very powerful one. So, Dot does not do for some reason. You think they cut this out of manga? No, he never did actually do it. So, the Mosh proceeds to pick up a wand... That's holding out like a water thing on the floor. And then all of a sudden Mosh buys that wand. Everyone else knows about wand anyway. So what was the point going there? So then of course they go home. Mosh of course the first time he's been home since like episode one. So as far as I ever see him. And his friends come by and they have some fun. Meanwhile though. Marguerite and his two lackeys. Decide to fly on a broomstick. And he rides sideways where he just sits at a thing not basically the broom between his legs like normally and flies off to take care of Mosh though he's stopped by almost his brother who proceeds to fight him and that's how the episode ends and apparently the very next episode is going to focus on him which like that's interesting it's also going to be the very first episode to feature Mosh at all which I'm very much looking forward to that though I should point out though the house that Mosh lives in Design-wise, it looks exactly like Hagrid's house. 
I'm not kidding about that. If you look at basically what this picture looks, if you look at what this house looks like from the anime, it looks like Hagrid's hut from the movies. I don't remember basically if they gave a good description. I think they may have described in the books, but I remember from the movies. And my appearance wise, this is exactly like Hagrid's hut. But yeah, so good episode, and I can't wait to discuss the very next episode of the series, which will air this coming Saturday. Oh, by the way, the the young ones and Finn, this the one Amis. Uh, this is Rain. Yeah. So yeah, that's gonna be pretty much it for particular view. So, tomorrow, uh, basically the next few days, I may be sending a review. I'll probably get a chance to get a chance to get back to Demon Storm Magic, uh, Demon Storm Master, Sky Bacon, because with this video, I'm kind of on my anime. Like, wow, that's something. Like, I'm like last week, basically, you drag everything out to Friday, Saturday. That's indeed true. That was not entirely my fault due to my nephews are here. I wasn't able to get any anime done. So, but since they've gone home today, they was able to get it done. No problem. So, tomorrow, probably Comic Corner 2, maybe something else, but who knows. But, um, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, turn on notifications, and do not hit that dislike button. So, until you see tomorrow, bye.